Hello everybody, this is uh, Lars again. In this short tips and tricks video, um, I would like to show you some maybe useful uh, key combinations. Um, first of all, when you push the MA button, you see over here the number of each executor. So when you want to store via the command line, so store executor and then the number, then you will see over here the number. This is also visible in uh, the virtual playback. So when you want to know which is this executor button, for example, then you can push the MA key and you will ever see everywhere in the console um, which is the number of the executor. Um, then you see that a lot of executors are running at the moment here in the show file. And when you want to switch them all together off, then you can use the MA button in combination with the OFF key. Uh, this will bring you a menu. This is called the OFF menu. And here you can choose if you want to switch everything off, turn all the executors off, or re reset all the speed masters, or clear the programmer. All this uh, can be done here in the OFF menu. I would like to switch everything off. So now you see all the executors are switched off, nothing is running anymore, and this is a uh, yeah, really easy way to, to switch all the executors off. Um, the next thing which I would like to show you is um, a feature which is called park. You can park a fixture. Uh, this means that uh, yeah, all the attributes of uh, of the fixture are in yeah, any some kind. They are frozen, so you can't uh, change them anymore. You can change them in the programmer. You can work with them. That's not the problem. But this all this is not visible on the output. So on the output, the fixture looks like it is frozen. And this is what you can do with um, with the MA button. Um, for example, I select this fixture and put the dimmer at full and then I say MA pause. This means park in the command line and then I can select the fixture. Fixture 1, please. And now you see over here the small sign. This is uh, The sign shows you that something is parked and now this fixture will stay um, with dimmer open on its position and uh, will never move again until you unpark it. And this is what you do with MA and GO plus. This means unpark, fixture one, please. And now you see the sign is gone and uh, you can work with the fixture as normal. This is what you can do with MA pause and MA GO plus. Um, the next thing is um, how you mute an effect. So I select all these fixtures, 1 through 8, and run a dimmer effect on them. Um, a dimmer effect is over here. So I choose the soft dimmer. And you see now over here the dimmer effect is running. And when I want uh, to choose fixture 4 for something else. Fixture 4, please. And, uh, and now it is part of the effect at the moment. And to, to mute the effect on this uh, specific fixture, you can say MA at. This means stomp in the command line. And then the fixture number. So stomp fixture 4, please. And now you see this fixture is no longer part of the running effect. You can work with it as normal and it is not affected by, by the running dimmer, dimmer effect. By the way, this value, so the stomp value, is a storable value. So you can say stomp fixture for and store this into a queue. This is possible. Um, and there are some other useful key combinations. Um, for example, when you want uh, to open the dimmer for a fixture, you can select them, 1 through 8, push the full button, but you can also push the add button twice 
and this means 100% uh, dimmer value, so dimmer at full. That's the same what the full key does, you can do with the add add button. By using the point over here and double tap it, you can uh, close the dimmer for the fixture. So add add means 100% dimmer value and point point means uh, a dimmer value of uh, zero, so a closed dimmer. Um, what you can also do with the add command is um, yeah, give a range of dimmer values on the fixture. So for example, um, add 100 through 0. And now you see the dimmer value starts uh, at open and for the last fixture the dimmer value is closed. This is what you can do with the add key. You can do as well. Um, um, a much more yeah larger range. You can select the fixture one through eight, please, and say add ten through hundred through ten. And now there's uh, another range which is given to the dimmer. So we start from ten, go to hundred, and go then to ten again. So this is another way how you can. Uh, yeah, spread some dimmer values on a range of fixtures. Um, for example, when you want to store a flash button, then you have to select the fixtures, 1 through 8, at full, and store them over here on this executor. This is flash open. And now you see the moment the function of this these button is a toggle function. Um, so to select or to, to change the function of, uh, of this button, you can say MA label for a sign and then flash and then push on the corresponding executor. And now you see the function of this executor has changed and now it's a flash button and you can flash the dimmer of it. Um, all the functions which you see over here can be assigned to a button. So you can assign a go plus, a go minus, a pause, or again a toggle. MA label for assign, toggle, and then again here on this executor, and now it's a toggle function again. So this is what you can also do with these, uh, yeah, with with this key combination. Another thing is that you uh, can select the fixture 1 through 8 and give percent values to them. So plus plus means 10% dimmer value. Again, plus plus is another 10% value, 10% uh, dimmer on this. Uh, on this fixtures and um, minus minus is minus 10%. So every time when you push these buttons twice, you, um, you put, put put 10 more percent dimmer on on these fixtures. So this is also an easy way to to yeah give a dimmer value to a specific fixture or decrease the dimmer value about 10% without using the level wheel or the encoder, simply pushing here the button twice. Here, that's basically all from my side about useful key combinations. Um, we will do another video with more tips and tricks about key combinations later, but for the moment this should be enough. Okay, bye-bye.